Welcome to my channel. My name is Angelique, also known as Nino Marie. If you are new here, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you are not new here, welcome back, y'all. Today we are going to do a wash and go, and we are using Camille Rose for this wash and go. If you haven't already um, saw me, I used the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Step 1 as my leave-in conditioner in the previous video. If you haven't seen it, make sure you pause this video and go watch that video first. I did a protein treatment on my hair and before I left out of the shower, I made sure I uh, put, applied my leave-in. We apply our leave-in in the shower because our cuticle is open from all the heat, you know, from the shower, the hot water, and you know, we want our leave-in conditioner to penetrate the cuticle so that's why we did that so now we are here I am adding a little bit more mo moisture by using the curl love moisture milk I am detangling of course y'all know we are separating our hair into four sections and then I will be applying the curl maker as my gel for today so you guys just sit back and continue to watch and I will show you every step of the way as always so moving on to the back sections, um, always know if you need to make a subsections, you can make as many subsections as you need to in order to detangle, detangle your hair properly. Always wanting to work um, our way up the hair shaft. So starting at your ends, always, always, always. And then um, I am going to basically band to knot it. Um, just so that my hair doesn't dry while I'm working on the other sections. So that's why you see me um, twisting it, wrapping it up, and clipping it. Because we want to, you know, make our hair, we don't want our hair to dry out. During a wash and go, you want your hair to be wet um, to get good results. Um, yes, it will be a lot of shrinkage depending on the product that you're using. With this product that I'm using today, the Curl Maker, the Marshmallow and uh, Agave Leaf Extract, um, I actually didn't get that much shrinkage. So um, as you guys will see, um, I don't know if it's my hair is just getting longer or if this just has anti-shrinkage properties in it. I don't know. <laughs> but I do like it. Um, it's, it's so much slip with this gel. You guys see me applying the gel. I'm applying a generous amount. <laughs> but you see those curls? That's how you know when you are going to get a good wash and go. You can see that there is not a lot of frizz. Um, I'm not against frizz because when there's frizz, that means it's big hair. I like big hair, so it really doesn't matter to me as long as my hair is being moisturized properly during this process. Um, so I speeded it up for you guys because it's very repetitive. Um, you guys could just sit back and watch me as I, you see, I am making very small subsections while applying the gel so that I coat every hair strand, of course, um, because I want a pretty decent amount of uh, definition. And I am using the raking method because I think I did this wash and go pretty fast. It was definitely under 45 minutes to complete the whole thing. Um, it didn't really take that much that much time. That's why I did do the raking motion. Now, if I was to shingle my hair, that's a whole nother story. But I will be doing a wash and go, um, doing this shingling method, and that gives so much definition. Um, but if you guys want to see that next week, please comment below, and I will get that out to you guys. But you guys got to talk to me and let me know what you want to see. So, yeah, just continue to watch. I am doing the same process all over my head and applying a generous amount of gel.
So here I am. Um, I'm trying to get rid of that middle part because of course I do two different sections in the back and I like to scrunch my curls. Look at that slow-mo. Okay, y'all, this had my hair so um, bouncy, so much movement. Like, it dried like that as well. Like, it was so, weight, so lightweight on my hair. And I think I did too much moisture, honestly. Um, I think you should use either um, the Honey Hydrate Step 1 or the Moisture Milk because they both kind of act as leave-ins. Uh, so my hair was very moisturized, but at the same time, my hair felt wet with this gel, with this um, wash and go. Now, this wash and go did last. Um, however, it just felt wet all the time, if that makes any sense. I don't know, but um, I would suggest using either the Honey Hydrate Step 1 and the curl maker or you want to use the curl love moisture milk with the curl maker so one or the other unless your hair is very very dry but my hair wasn't that dry to where i needed that much moisture um because you can have too much moisture and um but that's a whole nother video so comment below if you guys want to hear about that moisture overload um but yeah i really really enjoyed this wash and go i really loved it um so yeah, if you guys have any other questions, make sure that you comment, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, baby. Also, when you're doing a wash and go, you want to, you see the white um residue in between my fingers i usually have like a towel right beside me so that i can make sure i wipe it off because you don't want um any white you know residue or big chunks anywhere because it will dry like that and you don't want any flakage or anything like that so just make sure that you know it is all worked in Also, in my water bottle, I have warm water. It was hot at the beginning of this, the start of this wash and go. But now, it's probably on the warm side, but um, I'm in my bathroom, so I have the sink in front of me. So sometimes I will pour the water out and put more hot water in so that, you know, my cuticles can open just a tad bit so that the products can actually absorb in the hair strand instead of sitting on top causing flakage um, we are getting close to the end we have two more sections we want to add our water detangle more I've added some pumps of my curl maker the marshmallow in agava leaf extract if I'm saying that wrong y'all it's cool <laughs> y'all know what i mean <laughs> but yes like i said i apply a generous amount of gel and we are raking so now i'm just doing some finishing touches adding more gel where i feel needs it get that top a little flat and yes we are done scrunch scrunch Look at those curls popping. Hey, and I was listening to August Alcina's album. Yes, we are sitting under a hooded dryer. I believe I sat under this hooded dryer for about 45 minutes and then I let the rest um, air dry. Um, didn't have to be under here that long, but yes. My hair likes indirect heat. I am low porosity. So yeah, so yeah, you guys will be seeing um, a couple photos at the end of this video to see the end results of this wash and go. Please comment below if you like this, if you're going to try it. If you do try it, come back and let me know how it worked out for you. But you guys have made it to the end of this video. I want to thank you so very much for watching and I will see y'all in my next upload. Bye.